Hello and welcome to Millwall Fan TV. This is a Thursday roundup uh, where we'll cover the Reading draw and we'll talk about the pretty much predictions for Birmingham away on Saturday. Um, before we start the video, if you could hit the like button and subscribe to Millwall Fan TV, both are always massively appreciated and thank you all for your support so far. It's been absolutely brilliant um, and it hasn't gone unnoticed. Um, right, let's get into the video. Um, let's start off with the 1-1 draw against Reading last night. Um, and let's start off by talking about the formation and the, and the, and the team that Rout chose. So, so Rout went with a 4-2-3-1 again for the second uh, game running and the second home game running. Um, and I thought it was a very decent team. Um, you know, the only thing I might have done was maybe change Malone for Ferguson. But that could have been Ferguson might not have been able to play because um, he's been out with a back injury. So therefore, he might not have been able to, have, might not have been able to start. Um, I thought Malone did all right. Um, so I played four, so we played 4-2-3-1. I thought Williams was very, very good in the first half. I thought he was excellent. Um, I thought Williams played well yesterday. And I thought Woodsy did all right again. Um, we just don't have that, that drive and force forward, do we? And that's what we really, really miss. Um, I thought Thompson was good again. Jed, Jed scored an absolute world, he didn't he? Let's, let's be real, that was brilliant. Um, Malone was good. And I thought Parrott looked really bright for the 60 minutes he played. Um, let's get into our goal, first of all. So, uh, fantastic um, free kick from Jed. Absolutely brilliant, um, but the thing is, he sets his standard so high that that I'm not even a, I'm not even amazed by his free kick. I'm like, well, that's just Jeff Wallace for you, isn't it? So, um, I thought it was excellent free kick. Good play from Parrot in the build up to win the free kick. But I thought Parrot looked really, really bright yesterday. You know, he was dropping deep at times, and sometimes you could say he was dropping a bit too deep. Um, and therefore, we didn't have that goal threat when we got into the box as he was still catching up with play. Um, but you can see he wants the ball and you can see he's a clever player and you can see his movement is very clever. So I think there's real positives for, for, for Troy Parrott. He played 60 minutes uh, yesterday's game. So hopefully he's building up his match fitness now. Uh, let's talk about their goal. Lucas Schau equalised for them uh, after 53 minutes. Disappointing. Um, could Bart have done a bit better? Probably. But, you know, I feel I, I don't really like to criticise Bart because I think he's excellent. He keeps us in so many games. Um, with... Um, their goal could could Leonard have maybe kept a bit tighter to Zhao probably as well. But then again, you know Leonard's playing out of position. I thought Leonard, I thought Leonard's been really really good at right back. I think he's you know you can't you can't fault his commitment, can you? And his and his desire. So I think Leonard's been really good at right back. It'd be really nice to see Romeo come back into the side though when he does. Um, one one, it's frustrating, isn't it? Let's be honest, it's really frustrating. Um, but I feel like we're playing all right and. We're just, we just need them players to come back into the team. There's players like Bennett, Mahoney, Romeo. Uh, I think Bradshaw was injured for yesterday's game. Zahor's obviously out. So it's Billy Mitchell out. You know, it's them players that, you know, especially Bennett and Zahor, who could drive you up the pitch, you know. And, and it could, he could work really nice with, with Parrott and, uh, and Jeff Wallace. So, um, yeah, it's them sort of players that we need back and we need fit again to, to be able to move up the league. Um, but at the moment, we're, 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 we're in the games. We're in games with with five or six players missing. So it just shows how well we're doing. But yeah, we do need we do need them players back. I mean, we just need to get that win. We get that win on the board so we can sort of drive forward again. Um, but let's talk a bit about uh, Birmingham pre-match prediction. So let's talk a bit about Birmingham. Firstly, they're managed by Ato Karanka. Uh, he took over them um, at the start of the season, just before the start of the season. He's brought in some good players. He, ju he just signed a very, very good uh, central attacking midfielder. Um, but they, they look... Um, they look like a classic eight or Karanka side, don't they, this year? Um, you know, they're very good defensively, but they don't score many goals. It's a bit like us, isn't it? So I think against them, that we're going to have to really go for it. And I really would like to see um, a 4-4-2 instead of a 5-2-3. However, I do think Raul will play a 5-2-3 against them. So that's why I'm going to predict a 5-2-3. Um, but I just think we need to score. We need to score one, score two, and I think that'll be enough. But it's going to be a really tough game because they've got, they're really solid at the back. So... It's going to be a really tough game. The one to watch for them probably is Jerry Bella. Um, I think he's a really good winger. He's got good pace about him. But let's get straight into the middle side of things now, shall we? And let's start off with a team that I think Gary Rowell will pick to start the game. So here it is. Bartosz, Bajkowski and goal will go with Hutchinson, Cooper and Murray Wallace at the back. I'm hoping Romeo is going to be fit and Malone to partner him at the other side of the wing back. Uh, we're going to go with Woods and Leonard. So Leonard to drop back in to his usual position. And up top, we're going to go with Jeb Wallace. Troy Parrott and Shane Ferguson. So there's my team. Um, no, it's a, obviously no Bennett, no Mahoney. He doesn't give you that, that option there. But I think Ferguson's more than more than good enough to, to cover for them for the time being. Um, but it's going to be a really tough game. And I'm, I, it's, we're gonna have, it's one we're going to have to work really, really hard to win. Um, let's get into a prediction. I'm going to go 
for a 2-0 Mill will win. I'm really hoping we can we can get the clean sheets back on track and we can get we can get a win. Really, that'll be nice if we can get a win. Uh, I'm gonna go for a 2-0 Mill win. And I'm gonna go for Troy Parrott to get one. And I'm gonna go for Jed Wallace to get the other. So hopefully 2-0 win, but it's gonna be a really tough game. So we've got to we've got to definitely make sure we're we're up for it and we're we're, we're fit and fit and firing. So there you go, 2-0. Uh, thank you for watching. Come on, you lions.